Welcome to Giru, and congratulations on taking that first step to getting better results with your funnels and really understanding the value of mapping, planning, and simulating all your funnel numbers and metrics, working all the numbers out before you actually build anything or go live, and to make sure you're understanding how to build profitable funnels before you actually use your Visa card to buy traffic and figure things out as you go. So a much smarter approach to plan things ahead of time. In this video, I'm gonna keep this real short. What I wanna do is really take you through a very quick walkthrough of Giru, the canvas, all the features that you're gonna use, and just to give you a concentrated getting started video so you can hit the pavement running in a few minutes. Does that sound good? Uh, so in this video, we're gonna cover what you see on the left side panel. We're gonna cover what you see on the right side panel there, all those numbers. We're gonna cover you know, how to simulate your first funnel, how to get started really quickly, really easily. I'm gonna walk you through it. Also, we're gonna go into some more advanced tips. If you wanna kinda go to the next level and get more out of Giru, we're gonna cover that as well. And we're gonna try to miraculously do this all within like 10 or 15 minutes. So we're gonna talk fast. Uh, you may wanna watch this a couple times but let's dive in right now. So the first thing you'll see here is a lot of options. I wanna walk through these starting with the top here. The good thing is when you hover over any of these items here, they're gonna give you little hints so you can see exactly what each item means. So here, this is X, is to delete something. If you have something on the canvas, you wanna delete it, you can hit the X button or just hit the delete key on your keyboard. This here is the copy function, which I'll show you in a second, the clone function. If you, let me just show you something real quick. If you click on this option here, you can do one of two things. You can actually highlight, okay, a multiple objects and click on the clone button here and you see what happens? It clones the items for you there, all right? So you can do it one of two ways. You can do it like I showed you or you can basically just double click your mouse button and watch how the pointer turns to a plus symbol. Drag your mouse, click on the clone function here, same function, okay? So you got two options there. And those icons will be grayed out, of course, if you're not actually highlighting anything as you can see there. So that explains that thing. Uh, here is all of your settings, all right? Currency, 27 currencies currently supported, more being added soon, so there's a lot of options there for you. Also, your language. English is the only language supported. We're looking at supporting other languages down the road. Uh, simulation, you can turn off simulations. So if you don't wanna see the numbers, if you want a very clean canvas with no calculations, you can turn that off. Uh, theme color, this means that whatever color you choose is actually the color that your funnel objects will be when you add them to the canvas here, okay? Your merchant fees here, we default those to just some industry standards based upon Stripe and what have you. By all means, you can change those anytime you want to, all right? Uh, this here, little calculator, it's for the object total. So watch when I click on this, what happens, okay, boom. You wanna make the canvas clean with no object totals. Again, totally your call, okay? Uh, this option here is to download your actual, what you see in the canvas, create a PDF, all right? Um, when you do that, you have two options. Oh, you have three figures, I didn't do that. You have two options of portrait or landscape. This here, it turns off the actual grid, all right? If you wanna make it more clean, white paper, also good for um, you know screenshotting and that sort of thing, you can do that. Um, presentation view, you'll see here is coming soon. This is just undo and redo, and here it's just actually zooming out or zooming in, depending on how you know, large or small you want to see things. Also, this little finder button here, you can also hide that by using that if you want more real estate on the canvas, all right? So nothing too crazy so far, right? Over here, we've got video tutorials, okay? Over here, we've got help. Anytime you wanna contact us at the help desk, click on the button there. Uh, this is notifications, which is coming soon. This is your profile page. This is where you set up your account information, also your logo. If you are a Giru Pro member, you will see this, that's included in your membership. If you're a standard member, unfortunately you cannot update Giru with your custom logo, okay? Let's go back to the canvas here. And the last option here on the right is actually to sign out of your Giru account. Let's hop on over to the left side here. So here are all the actual funnel objects or elements that you can use to create your funnels, all right? That's under the Canvas tab. 
Um, so you can just basically go and drag and drop pieces as you see here. If you want to connect two funnels together, just click and slide and hold and you'll see that voila, it includes that connector. Want to erase the connector, you simply click your mouse, highlight it, hit the delete key and it's gone. You can also click on the Y port and you'll see it shows you where you can connect to. So you can do that as well or on the end port, same thing. Click on hold, you can drag and drop and that also gives you curved lines which gives you a little more flexibility with your funnels, okay? We do have more funnel objects coming soon by all means. If there's something you'd like to see, get in touch with us at support. We always appreciate your feedback. I'm gonna go more into this as we actually create a funnel but for now, on the project side here, if you don't want to create a funnel from scratch, by all means, click one of our pre-made blueprints here. There's a lot of blueprints. They include the metrics, uh, traffic costs automatically. It really lets you hit the pavement running with these blueprints. I encourage you to check those out. Uh, if you're a standard member, there's 15 there. If you're a pro member, you'll have over 30 available there. And the last option is the reports option. I won't get into that now, but you can obviously spend a lot of time going through different reports to just understand different ways to take the data you've put into Giru and to get some meaningful reports based upon where you're at, based upon projections, numbers, all that sort of fun stuff. So I encourage you to check that out after this video. If you're on mobile or you're on a smaller laptop, you can hover over the, the actual column here and you can minimize that. You see that? Now we got a lot more real estate on the Giru canvas. The same thing can happen on the right side. So you see now we have a wide open area we can use to really uh, map out a large funnel if you're on a mobile device, tablet, or again, a smaller laptop. Pretty cool, right? So looking at the right side panel, we already covered the icons up here. You want to add a product if you're going to be mapping a funnel that has any kind of a sales element, okay? Click on the little Giru icon, add new, you can just type in your product name and the product type, the price, and if it's one time, monthly or yearly, uh, refund rate is optional, and also product cost is optional, depending on if you have a hard cost involved, either a cost being your time, uh, could be $100 an hour at you know five hours, put in $500 there is your cost. Uh, if it's actually a physical product and it's, uh, let's say, a supplement where you sell it for $39 and your cost is $5, put in that product cost there. Also, you can include your shipping costs in there as well. And Geary will do the math for you to show you what your true profit is, okay? So I'm click on that there. It gets added to the products dialog here. You can copy that, make duplicates, change them, and have a ton of products there. Then we can add to the funnel as upsells, downsells, cross-sells, one-time offers, whatever it is you want to do there, you can do that uh, in Giru. Uh, traffic sources, okay, you can add them here or we can add them as an entry point, which I'll show you later on, entirely up to you, but basically adding traffic sources, call it FB ads. You can, option is the traffic entry point. There's none now, but it will default when we add it to the funnel, we'll show you later on and we can choose from one of many different traffic sources, uh, Facebook ads, monthly visitors, 2,000, and let's say the acquisition type is clicks. You can do impressions as well. Most people do clicks. Let's say we're paying a dollar per click, keep it easy. This conversion strength here actually affects all the traffic flow through the funnel. So you may have multiple traffic sources. You may say that, well, this traffic source doesn't convert as other tra as well as other traffic sources. I'm gonna put 80%. Most people leave it at 100%, but if you wanna have a little more flexibility in terms of giving a conversion strength to that traffic source, once again, this number affects every single conversion point in the funnel. So be aware of that, because it really changes the numbers uh, depending on what you set here, okay? We set that, again, you can add multiple traffic sources as your option. Expenses. Uh, Giro gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how you set up your expenses. There's a lot of pre-med options here, or you can do a custom expense. Uh, for example, if you're a really nice employee and you buy flowers for uh, the people at work, you can say we spend $100 on flowers every month. I put that in there, and voila. Now you have a flowers custom expense. You can just put as many expenses as you want to that are monthly or you know that relate to running your business. So you're really getting a better view on what the costs are of running this business, running this funnel, not only the traffic costs, right? Okay, and of course the summary pane is not available because we have not hit the simulate button here, which we'll get to when we actually create our first funnel in the next step here. So now it's time to go and start building our funnel map and planning our funnel, okay, before we simulate. 
So very simply, again, we're going to start dragging over funnel objects here and snapping to connect them as I showed you earlier, okay? We're going to also have a sales page here after the thank you page that they get shown, maybe a one-time offer, whatever it might be. And now we have to do one of a few things. We're going to add in some conversion metrics here by just clicking on the object itself. Let's say opt-in rate 20%. I can put in a page name or title if you want to here. It shows up there. You can also use a custom page snapshot utilizing an actual website you have. You put in the URL, you click on this button here, upload snapshot, it'll actually have a snapshot of your actual website within this little thumbnail here. It's really cool. So 20%, thank you page. Uh, sales page, let's say we're getting 4% conversion with the mystery 1000 product. I'm not gonna get into sales splits. You can have multiple products shown on the sales page and split those sales accordingly, which is very powerful. Click on the save button here. Okay, so now we got some conversion points there. What do we need next is traffic. I'm gonna drag over entry point one, connect it to the traffic, traffic uh, opt-in page here. Click on the plus button, and we're gonna add a new traffic source. I'm gonna call it FB ads, entry point is one. Traffic source, go down to the old Facebook ads here. I'm gonna say 2,000 monthly visitors. Uh, you can do clicks or impressions. Most people use clicks. Uh, let's say a dollar per click. Conversion strength, most people leave it at 100. If you change this to 80%, it means this traffic source is not as strong in converting visitors through the funnel. And this affects every single metric. Bear in mind, keep that in mind. Every single conversion point in your funnel is impacted by this. So. Keep it at 100% if you wanna make, make sure everything's consistent, click on the save button, all right? You can add another traffic point. We're gonna add this time, we're gonna add Instagram, IG, entry point one, select. Let's go down to Instagram, ads here, monthly visitors, and we're gonna say cost per click is $1.18, uneven number, okay? So now we have two actual traffic sources coming into the funnel. Uh, we've got the conversion points here. We have our funnel totals, which are zero right now. And now the next thing to do is to click on the simulate button, which makes everything come alive and makes the magic happen. All right, so you can see here, uh, Giru is crunching the numbers, showing us our traffic costs, our merchant fees. Uh, it's giving us a breakdown of all the items here that we put into the software, showing us our total product sales here of $8,019. And on the right side, we're getting some big picture metrics with a pie graph, earnings per click of $2.36. This is your dashboard. This is, this is the metrics dashboard you need to understand, can you make money or not with a funnel, right? Cost per lead, $5.37. Cost per action is costing us $135.26. Uh, revenue is $8,019. Profit is a healthy $4,026. And now you can start to play with these numbers to determine you know, your profit points and that sort of thing. Also, you can create a second scenario you see here. And if you're a pro member, you can create three. If you're standard, you can create two. And now what I can do is I can say, well, what if this funnel is not doing that well? What if we're getting like a 10% conversion rate, which is you know not that hot? What if the sales page is sucking wind and we're getting a 1% conversion on that sales page. Is there any hope of us making money with the prices we're paying for traffic? Well, let's see. I don't know either. Let's see, whoa, here we go. So this is where things fall off the rails, right? If you released a funnel uh, and uploaded it and uh, started running Facebook traffic and you were hitting these metrics, you would be in a bit of trouble uh, losing almost $3,000 in money a month, right? So now you can kind of understand, right? how to massage the numbers to find that break-even point where you can actually start to make some money. Let's make this 12%, uh, let's make this 2%, and let's see if this might actually change things around here. This is what I do with gear all the time. Constantly playing with the numbers, okay? We're not quite there yet. It looks like that opt-in page is gonna have to really uh, do quite well, and the sales page conversion is gonna have to be pretty solid. You know, two or three percent is not, not bad at all. Um, uh, so you can see here now, all right, bingo. Now we are in the black and we're making money. So hopefully it's giving you an idea on the power of Giru, right? To go and dial in your numbers and to really make sure you have this plan, you have these numbers locked down as your dashboard before you dive into Facebook, Bing, Instagram, whatever it is you're going, okay? Now one thing I'll mention as well is that right now you need the sales page and order form together. A lot of folks try to do this and this will break Giru. They're like, oh, I'll have an order form. I don't need a sales page. 
This may change in the future. For now, you need that sales page, okay? Which is uh, very, uh, very important. And obviously, as I said, we're adding more funnel objects here as we move forward. I wanna talk about a few advanced tips before I wrap up here. Um, people often ask, can I have nine arrows leaving my opt-in page? Not at this point. And the reason being is because every arrow you draw in Giru, there's powerful, powerful back-end math calculations you can see here. So this isn't like a funnel mapper where it's a diagramming tool where you can do anything you want to. You can connect the order form back to the opt-in, the opt-in back to the order form, and then have the traffic go right to the order form. I mean, there are limitations to Giru right now because of that logic. So you have to work within the parameters of the logic and the architecture of the calculations and the math and the formulas behind Giru. Does that make sense? However, there are some workarounds. People often ask, can I have multiple Y paths uh, leaving this object here? Well, let me show you an example here. If you want to have multiple Y paths coming off of this, you can use a bit of a, of a workaround, which is the good old survey object. So the survey object lets you connect to other objects. So I could have a sales page here, maybe as a one-time offer on the page, and then maybe I'm also sending people who don't click on that through an email sequence, okay? So you can connect, as you see here, click and connect. And you see that now? I can set up in the actual survey object a split of that traffic. Certain percent going here, certain percent going there. I can have two, three, four different options. So this survey object is invaluable to allow you to have that flexibility as we improve Giru, which we are, believe me, a lot more planned. But for now though, this little guy here gives you a lot of flexibility with multiple Y paths. Can you see that? And of course, if people don't take the survey or don't go on this page and do nothing, we can then hammer them with a few emails saying, hey, why didn't you uh, you know, respond to this link to the sales page or whatever and then drive them back to the sales page. I mean, this is where things kind of get crazy now. You see that? You can just really interconnect, interconnect a lot of these elements uh, and make, uh, make things happen. So as I said, there's some hacks for you. It's only improving as we move forward. So another question we get a lot of is, how can I add retargeting traffic back into the funnel? And there's one way we can do it today and there's a way we're moving towards in the future. Many folks just wanna add in the ability to send the no pass to retargeting and then back in here and back in here. As I said, there are some limitations because we can't just start drawing arrows everywhere because of the backend math and calculations and logic built into Giru. Again, it's not a diagram tool like Lucidchart. You can do whatever you want. Uh, we're getting there though. So for now though, here's how you do it. You have to click on an entry point and drag it here. And let's say you wanna send people back to the sales page. You notice how it connects to the sales page. You can see that. I'm gonna click on the plus button here. I'm gonna add a retargeting traffic source. Okay, retargeting, entry point two, traffic source. Let's say it's, again, uh, it's Facebook, but we're gonna use the retargeting icon so we know it's actually physically retargeting traffic. 400 monthly clicks, cost per click. Let's say it's a dollar, keep it simple. Click on that. And you can do this for multiple steps in the funnel if you choose to. It's entirely up to you, okay? Now we're adding retargeting traffic back to that, that multi-choice page. Maybe they didn't click on the sales page. Maybe they didn't click on the email opt-in or whatever. So we're gonna say, hey, uh, you missed a step. You clearly didn't click on what we wanted you to click on. So we're gonna now go and send you down a different path. Uh, utilizing, again, more retargeting ads. So hopefully you can kind of see how the logic works today. Uh, once again, this may change in the future as Giru is constantly evolving and improving, of course, based upon a lot of your great feedback as well, which we appreciate. So can you kind of see how the funnel is starting to come alive, right? Um, it's really taking shape now. Now, one thing you might want to do is say, you know what? I don't want to create from scratch. I want to just save some time. So you can click on the Blueprint Library, click on one of these here and say, yeah, let me go and click on a sales funnel for argument's sake. And voila, give it a few seconds here as uh, Geary loads this big bad boy up. And you'll see now we have an actual sales funnel built for us with all these different options. And you can obviously click on the unlock button here. It'll download a local copy. And then away you go. You can go here and really have a lot of fun with this, modifying this pre-done blueprint rather than starting from scratch. So I really hope this kind of opens your eyes to the power of Giru, uh, what you can do today, uh, where we're going with the software. We're so excited you decided to join us. Uh, we're just getting fired up and started on really adding a lot more power features to Giru over the next few weeks and months. Of course, again, based upon a lot of 
of your feedback and suggestions, which we appreciate. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you fall in love with Giru like we have and thousands of our members. And we look forward to talking with you and working with you and seeing what you can do to help you get better, more profitable results with your funnels moving forward. That's it for now. And we'll talk to you again real soon.